Hey guys, what's up? It's Protect the iPhone 3G here, and I have the final video of the Griffin Clarify. Um, this is the final update, I guess, where I'm just gonna show you what it looks like after one week. Now, um, usually, uh, they say that it's chip resistant after one week, right? But if you have the option to, I would personally not use it for four weeks or something, because, for example, the Capsule Rebel. After a week, it still could chip, but now it's pretty rock hard, and the plastic won't chip. Um, personally, I don't really use the Grief and Clarify much anymore, so I can leave this, and uh, I can check on it occasionally. Just forget about it, and like just check on it occasionally, and see how it's doing. Um, because, you know, the longer it's on, the, um, the longer the paint, the more the paint will bond to the plastic. Um, but if you already did it and you need to use your case, after a week you can use it fine. Just be careful not to really hit it around much or you might chip some of the paint. Alright, so let's just get a quick close-up. Put this camera. There we go. There you go. Wait, focus. No, I can't really focus on that. How can I make it focus better? That work for you? Let's try this. Huh. Okay, I can't really make it focus on the part that I want to show you guys, but you might be able to see that it has a slight, like, sort of across. That's what I did with sandpaper. Now, the bottom, if you can see got a sort of bumpy texture to it and this one's sort of like these cuts right that's what the sandpaper did it's only visible in really really bright light and it makes this part incredibly incredibly smooth and nice this part is very very smooth and this part adds more grip so you know your bottom two fingers or how, how you hold it this part gets more grip, the top gets more grip, and the center piece is pretty slidey. Um, but, you know, it's still a hard case, so it's not it's going to slide around. Now, what I messed up in this one, uh, pretty bad, the right corner. See that right there? I should do that. There we go, see, right corner. Um, and a bit over here, also on the right corner. Hmm. There you go, you see it there, a bit of a ripple. Um, I don't really mind personally because when you're holding it, you don't see it at all. Only if you tilt it to the side, you can see there's that ripple. This one is barely visible, but it's still there. But it doesn't really bother me, I could easily use this case. Um, but it, do it's not, it doesn't work with anti-glare because, um, I don't know, mine doesn't, I've got two of them, this one doesn't work with anti-glare screen protectors, but the other one will work with it, so, oh, and quickly let me show you some other faults, see that, I spray painted the inside, so I had to take a knife, not a knife, a uh, screwdriver, and I just chipped it all off, I got it back to the original color without any spray paint inside, but it's all scuffed up, don't worry, I just took some sandpaper, sandpaper, I sandpapered it down, and it's really nice and smooth in there. It just has that visual look of being all scratched. Another thing, quickly, um, if you're doing the mod to this particular case, it's going to be really, really hard to cover the little camera hole thing, so that's why I have this little black spot over here, um, because I couldn't cover the camera and just the camera without this, without the uh, part around it, so I had to, you know, it has this little black spot, but I don't really mind, it's not really visible, it sort of blends in, especially when the iPhone is on. Now I'm going to put this on, and I hope it doesn't completely ruin my screen protector, just wipe out the insides. Oh, by the way guys, I uh, got Windows 7 Beta, it's um really nice. I personally really like it. Let me just give it my phone a nice wipe down because I don't want any lint to get between the case and the phone because it can cause scratches. So I've experienced it firsthand in case slider 
literally killed my last iPhone. All right, so here we go. You might notice that. What was that? Sorry, there was some bump. Um, when you're putting it in, you might notice that it feels sort of harder to get in, and it has this weird sort of. Um, when you're sliding, it has this like a little tiny vibration that is giving off. That's because that the new spray paint plastic is going on the screen, and it's not as smooth anymore. It won't damage your screen protector, but it'll give you that little. So there you go. Nice, very nice. All right, now let's quickly give a wipe down to the bottom piece here. Wipe out our other piece. So you know, if you don't have the skill to mod it or you can't afford to lose a case, I wouldn't recommend doing this. Because I have two of these, so I just did this for fun. There you go, that's what it looks like. There you go, it's on. You can barely notice that little dot over there. And uh feels nice in the hand. There you go, that's all there really is to it. So, this is the Griffin Clarify mod, as made by me. Oh, one second, I'll quickly get the original one. Okay, so, here's the original model. Actually, there's the iPhone. I'm going to take it off now because I don't want it messing up my screen protector. So, there you go, bottom part comes off. Top part easily comes out. Back has no scratches, no scuffs from it. And everything is perfectly fine, see? So, definitely, definitely works. But you're going to need some skill and some good thinking to do this. So, I wouldn't really recommend this to everyone. So, the way I did it was I, you know, slid in a fake iPhone so it doesn't paint the inside. Because if it paints the inside, that paint's going to be rubbing on your phone and that could be pretty bad and pretty ugly. So, let me just quickly put this microfiber out of here. And here's the original Griffin Clarify, just to show you a quick comparison of what it used to look like. This is my... I have another one which I never used. Um, I don't really remember why I have it. So here's the Griffin Clarify. It's still in original... What's this? It's got this plastic over it still, which I'm not going to take off. But this is a shiny part. And there you go from the front. Maybe I should take this off. There you go. There's the look from the front. Side. Back. Right side. And we're back here. So... I sandpapered this part out as well. I don't know why. I just felt like it. And, uh, you know, there they are, the two clarified pieces. Oh, yeah, the sliding lens still works perfectly. And, um, yeah, that's about it. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. Peace.